Welcome to Proper Construction of a Corn Silage Drive-Over Pile from Lalamond Animal Nutrition. This video will demonstrate how to correctly size and build a drive-over pile. Other videos from Lalamond Animal Nutrition provide more detail on harvesting and cutting forage, applying inoculants, covering and sealing silage, and the basics of silage safety. For more information about these and other areas of silage management, visit qualitysilage.com lalamondanimalnutrition.com or the Lalamond Animal Nutrition YouTube channel. One of the first steps in making a good drive over pile is getting the dimensions right and finding an area with proper drainage that will accommodate the pile. The pile should be located on a non-porous floor, such as cement, tarmac, etc., with sufficient slope to carry rain and snow melt away from the pile. The pile dimensions must be sized to provide storage for the amount of forage being brought in, ensuring that the face dimensions allow the target feedout rate to prevent heating. The sidewall slope should be no less than a 4 to 1 run to rise ratio, and the maximum height must be kept within safety recommendations. Piles and bunkers should never be filled higher than unloading equipment can safely reach. A spreadsheet to calculate pile dimensions is available from your local Lalamond Animal Nutrition representative. It is vital to properly pack silage to rapidly achieve an anaerobic environment. Getting the ensiling fermentation started as quickly as possible to reduce dry matter losses. Packing density and dry matter content determine the silage porosity and so the rate that air can get into the silage mass. This is a key influencer of the amount of spoilage that occurs during storage and feedout. The minimum packing density is 45 pounds per cubic foot or 720 kilograms per cubic meter on a fresh weight basis. Build the pile using the progressive wedge technique to maximize packing efficiency and minimize the surface exposed to air. Aim for a run to rise ratio greater than four to one. Packing weight and the thickness of the layer of silage being packed are the two main variables influencing silage density. Packing layer thickness should be no more than 6 inches or 15 centimeters. The estimated amount of packing weight in pounds needed can be calculated by multiplying the estimated tons of crop delivered to the silo in an hour by 800. The estimated packing weight in kilograms can be calculated by multiplying the estimated tons of crop delivered to the silo in an hour by 365. In many situations, particularly with larger and custom chopping operations, the crop is coming in faster than there is room on the silage pile for the necessary number of tractors needed to pack the silage. In these situations, the wedge should be flattened so that it becomes part of a platform, increasing the available surface area for packing tractors. The increased surface area also makes it easier to spread thinner layers of silage. Packing equipment should be operated continuously throughout chopping, with forage distributed in layers that are ideally 4 and no more than 6 inches thick. This is critical for achieving good packing densities. The run to rise ratio should not be less than 4 to 1 along the sides to allow for continued effective and safe packing in all directions throughout silage pile construction. For more information about properly creating and covering a drive over pile or filling and storing other silage structures, visit qualitysilage.com, lalamondanimalnutrition.com, or the Lalamond Animal Nutrition YouTube channel.